Baby Babes! Again, this is your teacher, Babes, and welcome to Mom Babes TV, where you can learn mathematics and just watch your videos. So, like, comment, and share, and also don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest na videos. And for today's video, I will discuss solving quadratic equation by factoring since yung topic na yan is the third topic on the grade 9 mathematics and alam naman natin na merong apat na paraan on how to solve the quadratic equation so yung una is by extracting square root pangalawa by factoring pangatlo is by completing the square and then yung last is using the quadratic formula and since tapos na natin i-discuss yung by extracting square root so ngayon naman is yung by factoring and itong last ng dalawang to is abangan ninyo sa mga susunod ko pang mga videos and also kung may gusto kayong ipadiscuss na topic about mathematics mag-comment lang sa ating comment section at yung topic na yan ang ang isusunod natin na i-discuss sa ating mga susunod na videos and also kung gusto nyo may shout out mag-comment lang ng tamang sagot sa mga tanong ko sa ating comment section at isa-shout out kita sa aking mga susunod na video. So, let's start our discussion. Enjoy watching! This video is all about solving quadratic equations by factoring. And, bago tayo mag-start on how to solve the quadratic equation by factoring, let us first define what is quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentences of degree of 2 that can be written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Tandaan, degree of 2 and then yung standard form at saka yung a is not equal to 0. Okay, next, kailangan natin i-define kung ano yung dapat hanapin when it comes in solving the quadratic equation. So, ang hinahanap natin in solving quadratic equation are the solutions or roots of quadratic equations. So, these are the values of the variable or variables that make the quadratic equations true. So, ito yung mga values. Okay, next. So, meron tayong mga procedures na dapat tandaan in solving the quadratic equation by factoring. So, meron tayong five procedures on how to solve the quadratic equation. So, these are letter A, transform, B, factor, C, apply, D, solve, and letter E, check. Okay, so, si letter E is important because dito mo manalaman kung tama yung sagot mo. True checking so let's have examples on solving quadratic equations by factoring so tandaan lang natin na uh, in solving quadratic equation yung hinahanap natin ay yung roots or yung solutions ng quadratic equation so number one example is find the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared plus 8x is equal to negative 7. Okay. So, let's start solving. So, meron tayong 5 procedures na dapat tandaan when it comes to solving quadratic equation by factoring. Okay, letter A. Transform the quadratic equation into the standard form. So, ang standard form natin is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay, since yung negative 7 is nasa kabilang right side ng equation, using the addition property of equality or by transpose, so yung negative 7 ilipat sa kabila, magiging positive 7 or plus 7 is equal to 0. And then letter b is to factor the quadratic equation. Since ang unang variable is x squared, ang factor niya is x times 
x because x times x is x squared. Next, copy the addition sign kasi paras lang naman siya plus. And then, next step is mag-iisip tayo ng numbers na kapag minultiply, kapag minultiply natin, ang sagot is 7. And then, kapag in natin, ang sagot is 8. Okay, so, ano kaya yung mga numbers na yun? Okay, so, these are 7 and 1. 7 times 1, the answer is 7. And 7 plus 1 is 8. So, ang factor natin is x plus 7 and x plus 1. Okay, next, letter C. Letter C is to apply the zero product property. So, magiging x plus 7 is equal to 0. And then, yung isa naman is x plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, letter D is to solve. Solve the quadratic equation. So, x is equal to, since ang 7 is yung nasa kabilang right side, ilipat natin sa kabila or transpose, magiging negative 7 or using the addition property of equality. So, ang sagot natin is x is equal to negative 7. So, sa kabilang equation naman tayo. Ang sagot dito is x is equal to since positive 1 transpose sa kabila magiging negative negative 1 or using the addition property of equality. Okay, so the solutions are negative 7 and negative 1. Okay, last procedure. Last procedure is yung pinaka-importante sa lahat kasi dito mo manalaman kung tama yung sagot mo. Okay, it is checking. So, yung mga solutions natin are x is equal to negative 7 and x is equal to negative 1. Okay, let's try first the negative 7. So, ang given equation natin is x squared plus 8x is equal to negative 7. Okay, tandaan x is equal to negative 7. Isa-substitute natin yung x magiging 7. So, negative 7 squared plus 8 substitute, substitute negative 7 to x is equal to negative 7. Next, negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. 8 times negative 7 is negative 56 is equal to negative 7. Next, 49 plus negative 56, ang sagot is negative 7 is equal to negative 7. And that is correct. So, tama yung sagot natin, which is x is equal to negative 7. And kayo na din yung mag-check kung tama yung sagot natin sa x is equal to negative 1. Okay, let's have example number 2. Example number 2 is solve 9x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 by factoring. Okay, tandaan, meron tayong 5 procedures na dapat sundan in solving quadratic equations by factoring. Okay, next, letter A is to transform the quadratic equation in standard form. Since nasa standard form na siya, just copy letter B, factor. Okay, so letter B is to factor the quadratic equation. Since 9x squared, yung factor niya is 3x times 3x. Because 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And since it is negative, so magiging positive and negative or plus and minus because positive times negative is negative and since it is 9 yung mga factors ng 9 are 3 and negative 3 because 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 and then letter C naman is to equate into 0 or apply the zero product property so 3x plus 3 is equal to 0 and then yung isang equation naman is 3x minus 3 is equal to 
zero and then letter T is to solve. Solve the quadratic equation. Okay, so 3x since positive, ililipat natin sa kabila or using the addition property of equality, magiging negative 3. Okay, and then next step is to divide both sides by negative 3. So, x is equal to negative 3 divided by 3. The answer is negative 1. Okay, so, tapos na tayo sa isang solution. Dito naman tayo sa kabilang equation. Okay, so, again, since negative 3, transpose or using the addition property of equality, magiging positive 3. And then, divide both sides by 3. So, cancel. X is equal to 3 divided by 3. The answer is 1. Okay, so, yung mga solutions natin are negative 1 and 1. So, kayo na lang yung mag-check kung tama yung sagot. Okay, so, let's have example number 3. So, example number 3 is solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 4 is equal to negative 4x. Okay, dapat palaging tandaan yung 5 procedures on how to solve the quadratic equation by factoring. Okay, letter A, transform the quadratic equation into the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay, since yung ax squared is x squared and then yung bx naman is yung negative 4x squared, dapat ilipat natin sa kabila or using the addition property of equality, magiging negative, magiging positive or plus 4x. And then yung c is plus 4 is equal to 0. Next, letter B. Okay, so tatanggalin natin yung A kasi ang given lang naman is X squared. Okay, letter B is to factor the quadratic equation. Okay, so mag-iisip tayo ng number na kapag multiply natin, ang sagot is 4. At saka kapag in naman natin, ang sagot naman is 4 or positive 4. Okay, since 2, yung sagot sa 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So, ang ating factor now is x, okay, x plus 2 and then x plus 2. Okay, and then letter C is to equate or you apply the zero product property. So, magiging x plus 2 is equal to 0. And then, yung isa naman is x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, letter D is to solve. x is equal to, since positive 2, transpose or apply or using the addition property of equality, magiging negative 2. Okay, same as sa kabilang equation. Positive 2, transpose, or using the addition property of equality, magiging negative 2. Okay, letter E. Kayo na lang yung mag-check kung tama yung ating sagot. Okay, so let's have our last example, which is example number 4. Okay, so yung example number 4 is solve 6s squared plus 24s is equal to 0. Letter A, transform that quadratic equation into the standard form. Since nasa standard form na siya, just copy. So, magiging 6s squared plus 24s is equal to 0. And then, letter B is 2 factor. Okay, since ang greatest common factor sa kanila is 6. Because 6 divided by 6 is 1. And then, 24 divided by 6 is 4. 
Okay, and then, yung natira na lang is S plus 4. Kasi nga, 24 divided by 6, the answer is 4. And then, is equal to 0. Letter C. Okay, so letter C is to apply the zero product property. So, 6S is equal to zero. And then, yung isang equation naman is S plus 4 is equal to zero. And then, letter D is to solve. 6S is equal to zero. And then, divide both sides by 6. So, S is equal to zero divided by 6. The answer is zero. Okay, next, S is equal to, since positive, transpose, or apply the addition property of equality, magiging negative 4. So, ang ating solutions or roots are 0 and negative 4. And kayo na lang ulit yung mag-check kung tama ang ating mga sagot. So, 0 and negative 4. Okay, since tapos na tayo mag-discuss on how to solve the quadratic equations by factoring, now it's your turn to answer. Okay, ano kaya yung mga solutions or roots ng quadratic equation na x squared plus 25 x is equal to negative 24. Okay, ngayon, hanapin nyo kung may mga values pa ba yung x <laughs> by factoring. Okay, kung alam nyo yung sagot, just comment down below. And then, kung tamang yung sagot, shout out kita sa ating susunod na video.